Paul Snow Stadium in Jacksonville, Alabama holds just 15,000 fans, a far cry from the masses in Tiger Stadium that Ryan Perilu hoped to play in front of this season. After a redshirt year and two restless seasons as a backup, Perilu was the clear favorite to start for defending national champion LSU. But a laundry list of disciplinary problems, including use of a fake ID and an attempt to pass counterfeit money, finally caught up with the talented quarterback this spring. Les Miles announced Perilu's dismissal on May 2nd after the quarterback missed a team meeting and was caught skipping class. There was a level of, of behavior that I had to have and that, that really that he was unable to give to me. You know, I, I just had to let him go. You know, I kind of expected to come right in and play. It didn't happen. And you know, sometimes you get sidetracked when things don't go exactly your way. And I basically think that's the main thing that happened to me. I was just always in the wrong place, wrong time. And I just wasn't smart enough at the time to realize that I just couldn't do those things because I was in a leadership role. I think he had three years of frustration. And there is a level of player that is like a caged cat if he's not out there. I mean, he, he loses who he is, you know, he paces. He, and uh, I just, you know, I think he lost his personality in waiting, to be honest with you. After his dismissal, Perilu fielded offers from several programs, but finally settled on Jacksonville State, a championship subdivision school which allowed him to bypass the transfer year and play right away. JSU head coach Jack Crow has since monitored Perilu closely, hoping a tight leash will keep the talented junior on the field and out of trouble. I told him, I, you're going to be drug tested, you're going to be drug tested a lot. You're going to, you know, first time you're out of line, you miss something, you're late for something, you're going to have consequences. And uh, he didn't flinch on the accountability issue. I never thought I would get dismissed. And it, it, took, that, it took that kind of punishment for me to realize that you know, you're not invincible. And, and now I feel like coming here with the structure Coach Cove put on me, I feel like I'm becoming a more disciplined and a more trustworthy guy doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. He wanted a place where he could be the quarterback. That's what finally came out, which, which, I, which attracted me. He loves to play the game. Just a double pose right at him. Keep both of them high, smash on the back side. Right. On, one, on, ready? Right? I just want to get on the field and showcase my talent. You know, it's not where you're at, it's what you do. And um, I feel thankful to have a second opportunity because a lot of people don't get second opportunities. I, I've not come to a final conclusion about him, I'll tell you that too. I mean, I'm, I'm still having my guard up. He knows I'm in charge and he's going to have to follow a straight line. And once he grows through some immaturity, you know, I think he'll be a highly successful person in life. The thing that's been going through my mind the most is just trying to get back on the right track. Um, build my name back up, my credibility. And just thinking about those things pushes me to continue to do well and strive for excellence. 